Are you a music composer seeking more work? Then perhaps you need to get better at your networking skills. Stay tuned. Networking is this big word we often throw around when we're talking about meeting strangers at conferences or shaking hands at events. But I think at the core, networking is really truly about establishing relationships with clients as an artist that last a lifetime. People that you can have repeat business with. I think that's really the goal. And so I think if you were to remove all of the mystery and all the mysticism behind proper networking and you were to get rid of all of the poor information out there, I think it really boils down to the value that you are bringing to your target audience. Because I believe that if you can narrow down your target audience to a select group, not a really big group, but a very small niche target audience, and you provide value to them, those people are going to be willing to give you their money because your content or your service, your product provides more value to them than the money that they would spend on something else. So how do you network? Well, I think the goal here is you should always start from your local area and then move outwards. I think most people get this backwards. They start at the big macro level and they're trying to contact the big corporations, the big music producers, the big film directors, but that's not how it goes. And that's actually probably the fastest way to get discouraged and to end up hating your craft because you're not getting enough work to sustain your business because you are a small business. So. I think if you start from the small local level, not only is there not a lot of competition there, but it's people that are already in your first person or second person network. That is actually where the most jobs will come from. So at the local network level, I strongly suggest finding city events, game jams, local meetups, because that is the most effective way to start. Now there are actually a lot of organizations out there that have local chapters probably in your area, at least in the major cities. And if they are not, perhaps you should contact these organizations and try starting your own chapter with the people in your area. So some of these companies are Grammy Pro, Gang, which is the Game Audio Network Guild, IGDA, which is IGDA, the International Game Developers Association. And there's also statewide level chapters so I live in Georgia, so there's actually a Georgia Game Developers Association. There's a lot of other associations in your state. So take a look around and see what's available around you. And even if there's not, you could even just go to a public library and you could use Facebook to promote a local event. Or you could go to local restaurants or to um, just public places and you could put flyers, go to parks, whatever. There's a lot of opportunities there. So the next level is regional. Now there are a lot of regional events in your area, such as concerts, conferences, there might even be university master classes. And these are all great opportunities for you to go and mingle with people in the same craft as you. Now that might be as a film composer, film events with film directors, as a game composer, that might be meeting with game developers. And anything like that is going to be very beneficial because you're establishing real relationships with people that are close enough that you could drive to and meet them for lunch or for coffee and start discussing their projects. So the final step on a macro global level is being online through the internet. Now being online is an incredible opportunity to communicate with people across the entire world. There are tons of resources for you and communities of people in so many different platforms now. It's crazy that you can find so much work just by digging through these forums and talking with people and engaging with them. So some great resources might be IMDB Pro, some social media, Kickstarter, Steam Greenlight, and the list goes on and on and on. So these are great resources to communicate with people. So I hope this encourages you to get up out of your seat and to go and to meet and network with people in your area because you want to be the first person that comes to their mind when they need music.